Uh, Why is there so much in this one area? Nobody knows. Really? Nobody. Well, that's what's so crazy. Like, when I watched the documentary on your place, uh -huh. when uh, you, you show this uh, giant room where you have all these buckets of femurs and skulls and tusks and... And you have those paleontologists who are just like, they can't even believe what they're seeing. Yeah. That's because a lot of those animals, they say, never lived up there during the Ice Age. So when they see it, and they still think that, I just say, well, they sure as fuck died here. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> go, so it's that? changing their ideas of what existed in that area. <clears throat> yes, sir. Wow. And what's the oldest bones you guys have found? We don't know. We've, we've sampled maybe four or five of them. It costs 400 bucks a sample to do a carbon-14 test on them. If I was to sample my entire collection today, it'd cost $100 million. Because mm. we have a, close to a quarter million fossils now. The whole place is crazy. I mean, it's, it's so hard to believe that this one area has so many bones. Is there... They have no idea of, like, did these animals fall into a muck pit? Was it... Why are they there? They don't know. No. Because there's so many of them. And we're talking bones. We're not even talking fossils. Right. Right? Because they froze. Right. Which is very, very unusual. Right. The, the, the uh, documentary. At first, I just thought, oh, you probably found a couple things on this place. And then as I'm going over your Instagram page, I'm seeing... All the stuff that you're pulling out of there, I'm like, this doesn't even seem real. Like, how could this one area have so many bones and so many tusks? Like, how many tusks do you have? Mammoth tusks. We stopped counting. Not because we can't count that high. It's just because, what's the point? Thousands? I have a friend that says, I got 10,000 dead woolly mammoth on my ground. Wow, in five acres. Yeah. That's insane. I, Has, have any of these paleontologists speculated on why this one area would have so many dead animals? No. If they have, they haven't told me. And so you, you dated a few of them. And what were the dates from those few? They went from as recent as 3,000 years ago to 22,000 years ago. Wow. And the reason this site is so interesting to them is because it's from all from one little area. So the context is there. And it spans what's called the extinction event. Uh, Graham is yeah. and Randall. Yeah, the Younger Dryas Impact Theory. Yeah. And so I'm kind of going along with them because... But that would, would make sense why they're all there. Well, you got to remember.